Welcome back to NatFL, the most popular topic about Miami Dolphins and YouTube. You are so right to be here. A day full of madness, a day full of surprises. Dolphins GM Chris Greer disappeared within two days. People were skeptical and theorized that Greer might be looking for a dolphin. But no, Greer secretly negotiated with the leaders of the 49ers and Eagles and gave the Dolphins a brighter future. What did this mean? What is Dolphins' benefit? What will Dolphins look like in next few years? Please subscribe, friends. Over the past few days, I have reported the pick exchange news and some fans feel dissatisfied and even unsubscribed. This is a huge loss for me and for this community. And as you know, I was wrong when Greer didn't pick the Panthers. But the surprise was that Greer picked 49ers with one of the best deals in the history of the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins ended months of rampant quarterback speculation with two blitz pick trades Friday. Dolphins general manager Chris Greer has revealed his cards, and they show Tua Tungavailoa is going to be the 2021 starter. The realization shouldn't come as a surprise. I have reported on the record commitments from Greer and coach Brian Flores, and behind-the-scenes conversations with others around the team. But until it was made official in some form, there was always going to be daily conversation about Miami moving in a variety of QB directions outside of Tungavailoa. Armed with the number three pick in a quarterback-heavy draft, the Dolphins decided not to use it to draft another quarterback nor trade the valuable pick to the Houston Texans or the Seattle Seahawks in much-speculated deals for Deshaun Watson or Russell Wilson. Instead, the Dolphins traded down with the San Francisco 49ers, then back up with the Philadelphia Eagles, adding more draft value and flexibility for future years while setting themselves up to take an offensive playmaker at number 6 overall in the 2021 NFL Draft. The Dolphins are all in on Tunga Vailoa for this season, and he should have more offensive weapons around him in year 2. That's a great sign for those who are betting on him developing into the special quarterback he was at Alabama. It should be a great boost to Tunga Vailoa's confidence too. Maybe the speculation of the Dolphins angling for another quarterback stops. Maybe it doesn't. But the Dolphins' plans for 2021 have come into f By essentially swapping their 2022 first-round pick with the 49ers, the Dolphins are betting on themselves to have a strong 2021 season, certainly better than San Francisco. They are betting on Tunga Vailoa. They believe he can be the quarterback they thought he was when they selected him number 5 overall in the 2020 draft. Now he has a full offseason in good health, more comfort with his team and the lessons learned from an up-and-down rookie season. On the other end of this transaction is that if Miami Dolphins doesn't show improvement in 2021 season, the Dolphins have flexibility and protection by getting the 49ers' 2023 first-round pick. The Dolphins will have two first-round picks in 2023, making it the ideal offseason to change the roster with the best pick. So, what's next? All eyes are the number 6 pick, a draft position in which Miami should have its choice among at least 3 of 5 top-end prospects whom it was likely considering at number 3, including Alabama's Devonta Smith's use Jamar Chase, Florida's Kyle Pitts, Alabama's Jalen Waddell and Oregon's Penny Sewell. The top 3 picks are now expected to be quarterbacks, and Atlanta at number 4 is a contender to take a signal caller as well. ESPN draft analysts Mel Kuyper Jr. and Matt Miller agree the Dolphins should use their top pick to draft one of the elite pass catchers. Kuyper gives the slight edge in preference to Smith, with Chase as a close second option. Miller advocates for Chase as the Dolphins' number one option and Pitt's second. My thoughts are the Dolphins should prioritize Smith, go next with Chase and then Pitts. As long as Miami ends up with one of those three playmakers, and with the number six pick, they are in great position to do so. Then they come out of these draft pick trades as a big winner. Friday was about the Dolphins and Tungavailoa, who were the two biggest winners of the week.